Jiva Fertility Centers is running free fertility camps at all our centers in Banjara Hills, Sanatnagar, Kompalli and Manikonda on all Saturdays this coming month of July. Please come down, evaluate yourself, understand your infertility and your chances of fertility with the treatment options available. There are heavy discounts given on IVF procedures. Thank you. I'm Dr. Swachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. When we do a semen analysis, we not only look for the count, motility and morphology, we're also looking at the volume. Volume is supposed to be a very important aspect uh, when we are trying to uh, do the semen analysis. In addition to that, we also look at pus cells, we also look at other variables inside the semen. But the volume is very critical and let's examine why it's important and uh, what do we do when it's low. So volume according to WHO standards, World Health Organization, should be more than or equal to 2 ml. Now, when there is low volume, it could be an indication that the seminal vesicles or the prostates, well, these are glands that contribute to the volume when the sperms are produced in testis and travel through the tract. So the sperms have to travel a long distance from the testis and finally, as they come out through the ejaculate. Now, they pass through these glands called seminal vesicles and prostate and which contribute, you know, more fluid, which is rich in nutrients. So basically, it's trying to give more nutrition to sperm so that they are more mature. They get more and more mature and that's very critical. So when seminal vesicles and prostate contribute to the semen, these two glands also contribute to the form and shape of semen. It should be a coagulate, it should be a, it should be a sticky substance and later it becomes very fluidic and watery. Now these two are responsible for that. So when the volume is low, either the seminal vesicles or the prostate could be either damaged or have an infection or not be functioning properly. So these are the reasons why seminal vesicles and prostate are very important. Now when the volume is low, what happens basically is uh, the number of sperms could be good in the volume. But the issue is that the, uh, if it is too low, if it is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, even 0 0.5, this kind of a volume then determines what is the number of sperms, what is the quality of sperms inside the semen. So when it is too low, we look at the quality and then decide the treatment. So if you're not getting pregnant after one year of trying with unprotected intercourse, and uh, this is what we are looking at could be the reason, we uh, look at the count motility and decide the treatment options. Yes, even when it's low, we can still do IUI because uh, uh, this, if the count and the motility are good enough um, after processing the sperms and if they are put inside the uterus and they, uh, we can assume them to be more efficient that way, uh, we can still get a chance of pregnancy. So low volume is not critical when we are trying to give you treatment options. What is the quality of sperms inside the low volume is very important. So depending on that, we decide whether we can do an IUI. If they are very bad, the volume is uh, very low and the count motility is also very bad, then we suggest that you go for IVF. If you want to understand more, if you have low volume and you have been given a semen analysis report stating that you want to uh, clarify that, you want to get a second opinion, please feel free to contact us at Ziva Fertility Centers. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.